what is up YouTube and the Monster Club. It is yours truly, the life of the party, the young go hard and the king of the clubs. And of course I am the party monster. Back out with a brand new video in today's video. You're actually hanging out with me on my first vlog of 2021. I'm super excited to go pick up this particular Jordan 13. It's actually the Starfish for those that don't know that they released today. But yes, I'm gonna be picking them up today from a mall that's nearby. Definitely one of my favorite malls to go to because they definitely got some sights to see out here. Like we're near the Naval Academy, so maybe coming out here. So here's the deal. This was a really interesting release, honestly, because I didn't really hear a lot of hype about the 13 and if the 13s at the end of the day, it's not gonna do anything too crazy. It's not like a playoff colorway or Chicago colorway or even he got games which did release like a couple of likely the reverse released like a couple of years ago. But yeah, I didn't use any flex points or head starts, I should say. And surprisingly, I actually got waitlisted at first, which rarely happened. I've only been waitlisted twice, and I've gotten the shoe both times. And like 30 minutes later, I was still open. I could actually confirm the pickup. So I'm actually going to pick up my size 9 at the small. And it's a little bit of a bonus. I actually have another pickup that I'm be making today. I actually purchased the shoes like three days ago, but they were coming from another mall. So they should be in by the time I get back home and everything. So. I'm gonna show you guys both of those in this video and crazy enough, I actually did have another unboxing I was gonna do for a shoe that came out earlier this year, which can only be one other shoe because it's only been like two releases in 2021. But yeah, so this is my first vlog of 2021. I'm super excited. Just, I don't know, I'm just really optimistic about this year. Yes, 2020 sucked. A lot of my plans were canceled due to, you already know what it is. Um, but you can't be angry or bitter or mad let things like that get you down honestly like you just got to keep going out there and fighting and just making things work so that's what i'm going to be doing and yeah hopefully 2021 is going to be more successful and more productive i'm looking to go out here and make all this money that i can and yeah so thank you guys for rocking with me and hope you guys enjoy the video hey let's guys go. so i just got to the mall but i forgot to mention this earlier in the video that my job actually has really good timing so i actually got a 50 dollar gift card for winning a sales competition we had and honestly i have to thank the person that motivated me to win because fun fact about me if you ever tell me i can't do something i'm gonna do it three times as hard just to prove a point so they told me i was gonna win this competition and i proceeded to go super seance and show them that my talent level is over 9,000, and i just took over the game it wasn't close the only three people in this game were me myself and i so yeah i know that sounds super cocky but it wasn't like i think i won by like a hundred so yeah that's how i felt about this competition again shout outs to me for winning and yeah so we're gonna go in here right now pick up these shoes and go about the rest of my day okay guys so i just got into the mall i'm about to go hit the foot locker first because my phone's about to die and everything so I definitely need to confirm and do all that and everything and after that we're just gonna walk around and see what's out here what comes next another one okay guys so i gotta be 100 percent real with you guys i was totally on the fence about this particular pickup i think it's a dope colorway and everything and it's definitely shoes i wanted to own but if I get these for retail, I'm gonna pick them up, honestly. Like, the real shoe that's coming out this month is the Force, those hazel brown or whatever they're called, hazard browns or whatever. That's the must have of the, the month. If I get nothing else, I gotta get those. So, yeah, I'm gonna go all in next week. I'm gonna start saving up money now and everything. But, yeah, those fours are a must have. Okay, guys, for my Pokemon Go players, we actually have a community going on right now as well. It's actually the Machop. Or my chip or the, the the little one you already know what pokemon it is but yes so i'm out here i had to catch a shiny or two or four or twelve who knows and yeah so that's the goal of the day and if you guys do play definitely add me party monster one i'm always looking for friends and everything so and i'll give you gifts so yeah hey definitely guys, add me. i was able to find the shiny with choke so thank you very much for being findable rather quickly because i did not have time to go hunting all day so thank you hey guys so that's gonna do it for this mall as you guys can see i secured my pair my phone's on one percent unfortunately which is crazy because i totally did charge it before i left the house but whatever since i'm in the area but i do a slight bit of thrifting and then we're gonna go head to my local mall to pick up my other okay guys so i just left this thrift store called uptown cheapskates and i actually did pick up something which is a huge surprise because typically they have nothing i probably have all of six shoes from that store and i've been going there for like three or four years so that should just tell you everything you need to know but 
but they get something for a really good price. It's actually two that I was really debating do I really need them, but ultimately for the price, I couldn't really pass them up. So I'll show you guys that in this video. So I actually hit up another Goodwill, ended up just getting one thing and yeah, so I'm off to the mall to go pick up my other pair of shoes, probably get something to eat, get ready for work. And then when I get back from work, I'm gonna show you guys all my pickups and yeah. Okay guys, so I'm finally home from work. I just got done watching the game. I'm in a really good mood. Unfortunately, a lot of my coworkers won't be tomorrow because they're Raven fans and they just lost to the Bills. So I might have to have a couple of jokes tomorrow. But anyway, before I show you guys the Jordan 13 that I picked up, I'm gonna show you guys the rest of the stuff that I picked up in chronological order. Kicking things off with the shoes that I picked up from Uptown Cheapskates. They are the LeBron 12 lows in the low remix colorway. Honestly, I didn't really mess with the LeBron 12 lows. I didn't anticipate buying a shoe from this place and everything, but $17. I could not pass these up. They're size 10 and a half, which is definitely workable. I tried them on in the store and they felt good to go. So I just kind of clean these off and yeah, I don't know when I'm going to wear them or where I'm going to wear them, but they're here and I'm definitely going to put them to work. As you guys can see, they are in really good condition. It's just they're a little dirty, but it's what it is. Not that big a deal. Next pickup comes from the Goodwill, probably the most random pickup of the day. And it is this Kevin Jones Detroit Lions jersey. I know nothing about this player, but I did do a slight bit of research and everything to find out what player it is. Honestly, I thought it was a dope jersey. Like, I really rocked with this one. That was their uniform, like, a couple of seasons ago. I know they switched it up relatively recently, but this one definitely gives me, like, the Joey Harrington, Charles Rogers vibe and everything, and... I don't know, I just think it's a super clean jersey, and I will definitely give you guys a little bit of a sneak preview now that once I open up my own store down the road, I will definitely be selling vintage jerseys and stuff. Like, I love jerseys. You guys can probably tell that from my other videos. And, yeah, I thought it was a super clean jersey and had to cop it. Okay, guys. Loki, I'm actually watching a live stream for someone that I know of from football and everything at XO Miss Smith and her live stream is like the jump off. Like I always thought she was fine as hell and everything, but when she drinks that tequila gets in her, it's a whole different person. Okay guys, so we gotta open up a new can for this one. And this one comes courtesy of Foam City. And you guys have seen my other videos, so you already know how I feel about Foam City. So here's the deal. Here's my newest pickup. The Pharrell Human Races and the Exploration Pack and everything. And I got these for 120, size nine and a half, my true size. So I'm super excited about that. But here's the thing, this kind of rubbed me the wrong way. When I bought these, they said that they don't have the OG box, which is fine. I don't care that much about a box. I'm gonna get a replacement box, but they have the original laces and everything. And I was like, okay, cool, bet. I get these, and they then say, oh, I'm sorry, we don't have any like other laces besides these. And I'm like, what do you mean? The other guy said that there's backup laces. And granted, at the end of the day, for the price I got these for, $120, it's not that big a deal. I actually just saw these on GOAT for $150, so this is one of the rare times. Chrome City is actually less than someone else. So let's give them two claps. And yeah, so here they are in this light blue colorway. I've actually got, at this point now, four different Pharrell Human Races. And yeah, definitely a dope beach shoe. This is definitely one of those shoes that I can say will definitely make my Virginia Beach vacation. So here they are. And yeah, here's the other one and everything. I'm definitely going to be doing a review on these very soon and everything. But yeah, overall... Not too bad. There are like dirt marks throughout the shoe, which I did not see in pictures, but I definitely see them now, which isn't that big a deal. I can definitely clean this off with some Jason marks. The biggest one is like this one right here on the top of the tongue. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Yeah, you can definitely see it. And yeah, so I don't know. Definitely not can clean this off because it's like that fly knit material and everything, but it's kind of one of those things that definitely bums me out. Like if someone says, something and they don't make it happen that definitely kind of makes me a little bit sour on a company or a person and yeah so this is what it is right here 
I love them and I will be wearing them. I swear guys, I gotta definitely got this. I'm saying it right here, guys. I am not gonna buy two pairs of shoes next week. If I get any shoes, just one. And for those that are wondering, I actually got this hat from a local Goodwill for two dollars. It's actually a Sasha Banks hat, so you guys were curious, then now you know. But anyway, it is time for the main event. The reason you guys clicked on this video, the reason you guys are all here, and I'm going to show you guys the shoe right now. Of course, you have your Jordan Silver Box, which is probably my least favorite of the Jordan Boxes, but whatever. It's not about the box. It's about what's inside the box, and it is this gem right here. The Jordan 13 and the Starfish slash Saturn backboard colorway. A little bit duller than I thought it was going to be, but ultimately that's not a big deal. This is like one of those shoes that I feel like if I didn't get it, I would have regretted not trying to get it. And yeah, my true size, size nine and a half. And I definitely think this is a really clean shoe. The only problem with this shoe is I feel like this is... One of those releases that you're not going to see a lot of now on people's feet, but once the summer hits and you can break out some shorts, everyone and their mom's going to be wearing these. So with that being a factor, I'm definitely going to hold off on wearing these. It's like, it's, it's not that I don't like shoe. I, I'm in love with the shoe. That's why I bought it. But I don't like having a shoe on my foot that I see about 12 other people wearing, i.e. the black and yellow um, 12s or the infrared sixes which we play the drinking game on so you already know how that went and yeah so this is one of those shoes that i'm definitely gonna rock but i'm definitely gonna hold on to these for a little bit and wait till people start rocking theirs and they get dirty and everything and i can just break out a fresh pair but yeah overall really dope shoe and definitely a shoe that i'm glad to add to my collection i'm super surprised that i got these honestly because i used no flex points and I was waitlisted, but it ultimately worked out. And it wasn't even too crazy, honestly, at any of the stores that I went to. Like, I saw people going and getting their pairs, and it wasn't a big deal. I actually had two people in front of me, and, yeah, it wasn't a long line or anything. So, ultimately, this was a pretty easy release to pick up, honestly. And, overall, I say really dope shoe. Again, it's a Jordan 13, so you're going to get the patented Jordan 13 leather and yeah overall it's a nice shoe and I'm gonna get more in detail in a future video okay guys so that's gonna do it for this pickup vlog and my initial reactions on the Jordan 13 starfish but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below did you guys copy did you guys pass I am definitely curious to know but anyway if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit that like button Definitely share with a friend, and more importantly, if you feel the vibe, hit subscribe. You guys can follow me on Twitter at PartyMonster1 and on Instagram at PartyMonster05. And until next, we remember, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes. Peace.